change the opacity over time. That way it fades, comes back. You have a complete app. Come in here, we have our nice chart. We can open it, see the data. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions. And today we're gonna make an app look amazing. We're gonna adjust the opacity based on a timer. It's the same way we made this menu pop out. And if you haven't seen my last video, we showed how to make this menu pop out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust opacity, change some colors around, we're gonna add data. So if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and we're gonna get into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mimic this uh, neomorphism right here. So I, I kinda want the, the purple background with the the gradient and I want the white menu down here so I'm just gonna mimic what I what I see online uh, I found this from like my first Google search for app design in 2021 I want to change this button I'm gonna change it to white I want it to be white I, I prefer it so if we go to SharePoint we can see I, I have connected this to a list now none of this data is real so no one take offense if you see your city in here and the population isn't right or the birth rate isn't right. I just made up some numbers, okay? Well, I just wanna be able to visualize the data. Um, what we're trying to do here is UX and some UI. So that's the user experience, user interface of our Power App. It's not about the data, but I needed some data to play with. So I have some data in here in SharePoint. So for our chart, we're gonna to connect to that data so the chart data, we're gonna go to click on our pie chart and we're gonna change the items to, this is going to be my country data. That's what I called it, although it is cities. In the labels, we're gonna do the title and the series we're gonna show, I think the population, we'll do the population for now. So right now I actually have some data in here and we have are cities with some population. What I wanna do is when I click this menu, I want this to disappear slowly by the opacity. So how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna adjust the opacity in Power Apps? You know, you have the visible uh, function or property. The visible property is only true or false. So how do you adjust opacity? Well, it's in the color property. So let's go to the color property of, we'll say this legend here. Right now in the legend, the color property is set to black. I had to redo this part of the video because my face was in the way. You can see that it's zero, 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 one. What we want to do is we want to grab the property that we used from my last video. So that was based on the Y axis. So the Y axis moves uh, based on the duration of time. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to apply that to the color of my opacity. So in the last number, we're going to say if variable menu equals one minus zero minus one. So that way the opacity changes over time. So let's go ahead and try it out. So you can see there's nice, a nice little fade now. So that's what we want. We want it to fade out. So what I'm going to do is on every single part of my chart, I'm gonna do the same thing. So in the item color set, I, I need to move my face so you guys can see this. We have all these, you know, ones at the end. We're gonna change it. I'll grab this one. We're gonna change it, the if statement, and we're gonna add that to every single one of our color sets. So down here, you know, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna paste it in there. Oh, I forgot the the I. There we go. And there's actually three parentheses. So I'm going to do that for every single one in my item color set. So let's see if I can grab everything correctly. And I'll probably fast forward through this for you so you don't have to watch me. So now we're basing this, the opacity of our chart is based off this menu. You can see, oh, it went away, right? So what do we need to do next? Now I need to do the text up here and I need to do the border. I'm gonna do that, I'll probably fast forward and I'll get back to you, but, but you can see how it's done. 
All right, so now I have it. So my chart completely disappears when I click on my menu. It slowly goes away. That's what we want. And we're gonna pull our data up in here afterwards. All right, so next what I wanna do is I wanna pull in a, a gallery. Now, what I wanna connect the items to of this gallery is I wanna connect it to a filter. And I'm gonna do my country data. And what I'm gonna connect it to is the dropdown. So this is my dropdown down there. Dropdown one dot selected dot value equals the city. So what we're saying is I only wanna see the country data based on my dropdown if it's equal to the city. So I'm gonna go ahead and you see these red X's? And this one should be uh, population. So the next part that we wanna work on is the dropdown menu. How do I populate the dropdown menu? Well, there, there's many different ways you can do that. But the easiest way I know how to do it very quickly is you see how the pie chart uses dot series labels? Well, why don't we just do that too? So we go to our drop down, drop down one, items, pie chart, series labels. Okay, look at that. Now we got our, our choices here. And you can see our gallery is now populating based on our selection, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this picture. It's gonna add some red X's because the X is based off the image and we don't care about that. And this is based off the image also, okay? So now we have a gallery, right? When we open this up, you know, it shows Tokyo population. So let's go ahead and fix this. So for text, I'm gonna say population and population. All right, I'm gonna keep doing that for all of my columns in my SharePoint list. I'm gonna get rid of this arrow too. So I'm gonna copy, paste, paste, paste. And just know that none of this data is true. It's just data I made up. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the chart, except for I'm gonna do it on all of these fields. So how do I do that easily? I'm gonna hold down control and select all of the titles and subtitles in my gallery. And I'm gonna press control G. G groups all those columns together. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna to go to the color property because that's how we adjust the opacity. And we're gonna pretty much just copy the same from here. So we want it to be zero. If the variable menu is true, we want it to be zero. So that means not visible. Else, it's gonna be zero plus one times our timer value. So over time, when we click on it, it appears. Oh, you notice it's in white. So this goes into more of what I wanted to do. So also what I wanted to do was I wanted a an HTML text. This HTML text is gonna display a gradient for us. Now I've already prepared this gradient. It's basically HTML with a gradient value in the CSS. Now I've done this before in another previous video again. I have a whole video on gradients. So if you wanna check that out, you can. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an HTML text, add my gradient in here. All right. So now we can see I have my, my chart open. Uh, the only thing next I wanna do is have my gallery move when I click on the menu. So we're gonna do the same thing down here at the menu. 600 and let's say 450. So now when I come into my app and I open it up, that disappears and my text appears. So this is all about using the timer to control the opacity of different parts of your app, right? So <clears throat> when we open up our menu, the chart disappears, 
our text appears. We can change it based on our selection so we can see the data of our selection. This is all just fake data. This is just so you can create your own ideas. So now we can filter the data, come back down, and we can see our chart. So thank you guys for watching. I went really fast and there was lots of parts in this video, but I think you understand the point. Uh, the main point of this video was changing the opacity using the color property of your Power App. That way you can make things visible and not visible, right? We have our, our nice chart. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful.